Well, a quick heads up, Waco. Try Waco is in town and part of downtown Waco and Cameron Park are going to be closed early this morning until noon today. Areas impacted include MLK Boulevard from I-35 to Lakeshore Drive, U Parks Drive from Franklin Avenue to Cameron Park and various Cameron Park roadways. Also, new details this morning on a murder investigation in Waco on Saturday morning, Waco PD responding to the 2600 block of West Waco Drive on the scene. A male victim later determined to be a 57 year old employee of a nearby business. Investigators believing the man was shot during a robbery. The investigation is ongoing at this time and anyone with any information about the case is urged to call the Waco Police Department. Now here's a look at our first alert forecast. Well, we saw some of those showers early the, earlier this morning as well as some of those storms and we could be seeing them later this afternoon and into the evening hours as well. Our biggest potential for some of those storms and showers is going to be in our evening hours and this is going to be bringing in some high wind speeds, also some potential flooding, maybe even some hail here and there. It's going to continue throughout the rest of the night throughout central Texas moving south and then we're going to continue to see some of those storm systems moving through um, into tomorrow morning as well as into the afternoon. We'll be seeing ourselves drying out a little bit though as Tuesday comes along. We're going to be drying out as the week continues, but taking a look at those temperatures later on, we'll be seeing those low 90s for the next couple of days. 91 for Monday, as well as in the Brazos Valley area. We'll be seeing those conditions drying out as the week continues, and as we dry out, we're also going to be seeing those temperatures going back up to those mid 90s.